What if I told you that one of the biggest revolutions in the global economy one that made your cheap gadgets, fast fashion, and Amazon Prime possible wasn't some high-tech invention or financial breakthrough? It was a box, yup, a big, boring, steel box. No AI, no Wi-Fi, not even a USB port, just a big metal rectangle. And yet, this humble invention completely changed the way the world works. This is the story of the shipping container and how it quietly reshaped the entire global economy. Before the container, shipping stuff around the world was a logistical nightmare. It was messy, slow, expensive, and, quite frankly, kind of ridiculous. Imagine you're a port worker in the 1950s. Take a moment to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and tap that bell icon. Now, let's keep going. You've got to load a ship with a chaotic jumble of barrels, crates, bags of flour, sacks of potatoes, boxes of God knows what. Everything's a different size and shape, and it's all being moved by hand, one at a time. It's like playing a game of Tetris blindfolded, with four cliffs. Loading a single cargo ship could take days, and unloading. Just as long, theft was common, goods got damaged, and delays were just part of the deal. You think waiting two days for Amazon Prime is bad? Ordering a bike in 1952? You'll get it when your kids graduate. Enter Malcolm McLean. Not a sailor. Not an engineer. Just a trucking guy with a really good idea. In the 1950s, McLean was frustrated with how long it took to transfer goods from trucks to ships. He thought, why not just load the whole truck trailer onto the ship? But then he took it a step further ditch the wheels, keep just the box, and stack them like Legos. In 1956, he put his idea to the test. One ship, 58 containers, and just like that, the shipping game changed forever. What once took days could now be done in hours. The cost of loading cargo dropped by over 90%. Efficiency through the roof. Suddenly, goods could move faster, safer, and cheaper than ever before. Malcolm McLean basically did to shipping what IKEA did to furniture, made it cheap, efficient, flat-packed, and somehow global. And once that steel box hit the seas, the entire world changed. Ports had to adapt. Giant cranes were built. Specialized container ships were designed. Factories moved closer to ports, and cities grew around supply chains. Everything became optimized for one purpose, moving these boxes as efficiently as possible. And that's when globalization hit warp speed. It suddenly made economic sense to manufacture goods in one country, assemble them in another, and sell them in a third. That $5 t-shirt you bought, it probably visited more countries than you did last year. iPhones, sneakers, avocados in winter, all of it is only possible because shipping containers made global trade dirt cheap and incredibly fast. It also gave rise to massive companies like Amazon, Walmart, and Alibaba, who depend on these containers to keep costs low and products flowing. The container is like the quiet hero behind every online order, but like any good plot twist, there's a darker side. Yes, containers connected the world, but they also disrupted it. Industries that couldn't keep up with global competition collapsed. Entire towns that once thrived on local manufacturing lost jobs overnight. Economic power shifted toward countries that could produce goods at scale and speed. And then there's the environmental cost. These ships are huge and they burn heavy fuel oil, one of the dirtiest fossil fuels out there. In fact, just one large cargo ship can emit as much sulfur as 50 million cars. Yes, you heard that right, 50 million. And let's not forget the time one got stuck sideways in the Suez Canal and held up 12% of global trade like a spilled box of spaghetti. One steel box parked the wrong way, and suddenly the world's economy is late for work. So yeah, it's not all smooth sailing, but the container isn't going away anytime soon. In fact, it's evolving. Smart containers now have GPS, temperature sensors, and tracking tech. Ports are becoming automated. 
There's even research into greener shipping methods using wind power, better fuels, and smarter logistics to reduce emissions. The steel box that started out as a trucking shortcut has now become the backbone of the modern economy. It's responsible for the rise of global trade, lower consumer prices, and the just-in-time world we live in today. It's not flashy, it's not high-tech, but it works. So next time a package arrives at your door, take a moment to appreciate the silent hero behind it all. The simple steel container, the box that changed the world. If you learned something new, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe for more deep dives into the ordinary things with extraordinary stories. And let us know in the comments what's another object you think secretly changed the world.